Introducing first, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner. She holds a professional record of 19 victories versus just one defeat, with five of those wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Woodland Hills, California, USA, she is the former IBF, WBO, and Ring Magazine Unified Super Featherweight Champion of the World. Here is Michaela Mayer. Official weight, 10 stone, 6 pounds, 5 ounces for the champion, Michaela Mayer. And her opponent, the champion, fighting out of the red corner tomorrow night. She comes to us with a professional record of 14 wins versus two losses and one draw, with nine of those wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of right here in Liverpool, England, she is the former WBC, WBO, and IBF Unified Super Welterweight Champion of the World, and tomorrow night, the reigning, defending IBF Welterweight Champion of the World, Natasha Jonas. Official weight, 10 stone, six pounds for the champion, Natasha Jonas. Johnny, that is a very relaxed, very confident Natasha Jonas there on the scale. I mean, both fighters look good. Natasha's had longer at this weight. Michaela's been gradually coming up in weight since she lost the brown garden. How do you think that will affect him? Do you think it will affect him at all? I don't think it'll make any difference at all. Natasha makes the weight easy. Coming on, looking at what she was getting on the scale. She's not after went as little as possible as uh, Michaela did. So Michaela's, again, Michaela, even though she's come off, she actually walks around every other the way. And you, you can tell when you meet her, you see her uh, offset, you know, away from fight. And that's that down to skills, experience, and confidence. Natasha knows she's been there. She's drank it the world. She knows what she's going to do. This is all for Michaela to, to now step into new waters with an established champion. An established champion that is also fighting at home in Liverpool. Yeah, that adds yeah, another yeah, element yeah, yeah, as well yeah. without a doubt. And these Liverpool fans can be vicious, they can be cruel and they can be intimidating. So this will be another test of her metal. Uh, let's see where she is. How does Michaela look to you, Andy? She looks terrific. I mean, we've been talking to her during the week about the difference in, in camp, basically, of not having to play with that kind of calorie deficit. And once she gets a five week, you wouldn't imagine she'd put, up, put on too much weight after this, but she did say there was a little bit of a weight cut. When you look at the physically there, obviously she's got the high demand. When you look at Jonas, it's obvious where the power comes from. She's got really solid legs and backside, and that's where the power is generated from. And actually, that physique, makes her sometimes, I've always felt, they look a bit shorter than she is. But yeah. when you look at the height between them, it's not that much different. Just, just expand on that, Dave, a little bit more, what Andy was saying. Because she sits in the legs. She's got, she's got good, strong legs, good, strong glutes. And she'll sit in the, sit in the rather than being upright. So you see, when you see a box, you see that she's shorter. But when you see them face to face, the both got trainers on. There's not that much difference in the size of them. Going back to uh, Michaela, I was in uh, Vegas in the BLX room where she was at and watched the train from the past in December and she was heavy then. So you know when you talk about her weight, she was a lot bigger than what she is now. 